And good afternoon. Thanks for starting your week with us. I'm Tim Seaman. Bridget has this week off. Well, today marks the start of the 2019 legislative session here in Iowa. There are a lot of new faces at the State House with a record number of women. Republicans continue to control the legislature as well as the governor's office. KCA United Sabrina Ahmed spending her day at the State House and has our top story this afternoon at 5. The start of the 88th General Assembly was a lot of pomp and circumstance, but we also heard from leaders from both sides of the aisle. We have a few priorities. First of all, Republicans say they want more freedom, less government. Both Republicans and Democrats talked about the need for a children's mental health system, as well as funding the mental health system that was passed last year. Managed care, according to Republicans, is here to stay. So now they need to fix it. And education is a priority for both Republicans and Democrats. Republicans say they want more flexibility for education. Democrats say they want more funding. Republicans talked about revitalizing rural Iowa, whether that be affordable housing, more opportunity for small businesses, or increasing high-speed internet in rural areas. A part of that is also all across the state, we need more skilled workers. And all leaders talked about that being a very high importance. We continue to hear from employers across Iowa that the availability of a skilled workforce is the biggest challenge to growing their business. I know lots of places are making that an option to, to, to telecommute. And the more people can do that, the more that becomes a possibility that you can be in rural areas. That, uh, we really access people who otherwise might not even be in the workforce. Democrats believe it's time to get back to the basics in education, skills training, job creation, and affordable health care for Iowans. One issue the Democrats talked about that the Republicans did not is the need for our natural resources to be protected. They talked about the need for soil and water conservation efforts to be upticked, as well as needing a market for all of our commodities. Again, that's Sabrina Ahmed reporting.